It's your boy Warlow back with another my team video. And we are going to react to all the cards dropping today. The Galaxy Opal win be the price of Jalen Green. All these cards, hopefully, they are good. It could be crazy. Scotty Pippen, it could be crazy. So we're going to react to them real quick here. So we're going to start off with Free Wimby. So Free Wimby has 18 hops, 79 speed, 70 strength. That's uh, that's a bit disappointing. Does he have a lower ball handle? Like, did they upgrade this card? Is this card even upgraded at this point? Like, I feel like, is this card even upgraded? I don't feel like he got much of an upgrade. It's the same exact... Seven plus stats. Are you freaking serious? Seven plus stats is 2K trolling. Seven stats. They improved seven stats. Are, are, are you freaking serious? Nah, that, that's troll. And he gets oh, he gets Joel and B dribble style. Like, brah. They didn't even upgrade anything, this troll. This is troll. He literally doesn't have anything better from his Opal. He has seven better stats. And you have to add, I guess you can badge this one the way you want, but you can give him Limitless, you can badge him up a little, you can give him Anchor, so if you, but, man, like, he's so much worse. Dang, this free Wimby is just not him, I'm sorry. He is not, he is not him, I'm just being real honest with you, just not him. Not, not, not him, really. So we're going to go up the list to see Moritz Peterson, 63k for an Opal. So Opals are basically going to, I have to assume that Opals are going down in value. He has 92 speed, 89 acceleration. I mean, Moritz Peterson, I'm just going to warn you now, his release is not good this year. The fact is, but for 63k, he gets Luke Kennard on very quick. Normal leaner, Michael Jordan, John Morant side up is great. Trey, Trey Young escape move. Pro free fade is good, so... Stat wise, Morris Peterson ain't bad. It's just that release. I just know Morris Peterson has a really mediocre release. And that's just not going to cut it. It's, that's just not going to cut it. Like, he has a movable enforcer, which is good. He has clamps. Three defensive badges at this stage in the game is kind of a. Kind of ain't it. Not going to lie. That's a little bit under. That really is not it for 63K at this stage in the game. Not bad. Not great. But. Could be better. JaVale McGee, 63K for another Opal. 24 Hall of Fame badges. JaVale has uh, 84 free for it. No shooting badges. Ooh, you're going to have to give him a catch shoot. Limitless range. You're going to have to badge him up. He has JaVale McGee on very quick, which I don't know that's a good release. Michael Jordan, elite. Kobe Bryant size up. That's my thing. If they can still give Kobe Bryant sides up in an escape move, then why can't they drop Kobe in game? Like, I don't understand that. Because wouldn't they wouldn't not be able to give, like, sides ups and escapes? Because... All those things are classified by Kobe Bryant. But Pro 2 Fadeaway, Joel B, Long Athlete, Tom, Tomahawk. I mean, JaVale McGee, he, has a good, he had a good player model. Like, if he had this player model. I recall JaVale McGee also has a very slow release, so keep that in mind. He doesn't have that quick or release either. It is on very quick, but he probably not going to have the quickest release. Keegan Murray's only 52k now, so the Opals are down the mud. Now, just know the odds of Opals are probably going to go up, but they're probably not going to quick sell for nothing. So, that that's going to suck, though, about these packs. Because a lot of the other packs, you could quick sell the dark, uh, Opal for 50k. So, yeah, that's going to suck, really. So, Keegan Murray has 95 speed, 88 acceleration. Has Kyrie. But the thing with Keegan Murray is, Keegan Murray's release is terrible. Like, Pro 2 Leaner on Keegan Murray. I mean, these three cards are not going to be that good, really. Even though they're okay stat-wise. Like, he has five defensive badges. Keegan Murray, like, should be good. But Keegan Murray also has another release flaw. Like, all three of these Galaxy Obels all got release flaws. And Wimby's just barely an upgrade, which is so ridiculous. But, hey, that's just 2K for us. So, let's look at 98 overall Wimby. Did they even upgrade anything on the on the normal one? Is this just troll? They didn't even upgrade on the Opal much. He feels like he looks exactly the same. To, bro, they only updated 63 stats on the Opal. At least the Opal got ball handling, better drawing, driving, dunk. He has lateral quickness, 
84 vertical, 87 like he kind of mean he's just he's almost the same too. The only big difference between the dark matter, I mean Galaxy Opal, is you get ball handling, pass accuracy, vertical a little bit better. But it's literally almost the same like the free one. They really do not want you to just be a free to play player. They want you to spend money and have to pay for animations. Cause man, Victor Wimbenyama is not looking, not looking that crazy as a free card. Is noticing. It's not looking crazy if you just don't spend money today. Brandon Ingram is also dropping today. 36 Hall of Fame badges. 98 for Reaper. You have to win 50 games of clutch time. I mean, they have to fix Brandon Ingram's shot. Would be nice. They're not going to. But Pro 2 leaner. Brandon Ingram. Kyrie. Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose isn't the fastest. Like, there's some faster size ups than that at this point in the game. Bray Young escape is good. LeBron combo. So... James Harden by moving by that. You kind of would like Jamal Murray at this point. So, I mean, James Harden, I mean, Teddy Hardaway has James Harden, but, you know, you kind of wish that was something else. But, Brent Ingram is meh. He, I feel, oh, he's 6'8 now. I just noticed that. Was he always 6'8? Did they change his height? No, okay, he was 6'8. No, he was 6'8. Okay, 6'8. I thought he was, I thought he was 6'7. Uh, maybe, maybe that's just me. I thought he was 6'7 this year. But, 6'7 for Brandon Ingram. He might not be that bad. It's just his release is on a slower end as well. Just keep that in mind. Like, Brandon Ingram's release is not the quickest. But he won't be bad if you get him. Like, he's not going to be terrible. But not the quickest release. Jalen Green. 300K! What the freak? 300K for a dark matter. I was about to say an accessible Jalen Green. <laughs> Why is Jalen? Because now that if you okay, if you do the deluxe pack, now you're just gonna get opals. Now you're not gonna get Jalen Green, who literally is 300 KMT. That is the highest card we've seen to date in June. Remember, Jalen Green was 10 KMT last year. That is nuts. That is just that is just unacceptable. He was 8 KMT last year. Wow, that's a lot of MT. Three, I didn't think it'd be that high. Jalen Green on very quick. Pro two leaner. Kyrie on very quick. It's like that sucks because now you have a higher, you have a way lower chance of getting a Jalen Green. De'Aaron Fox size up. Kemba Walker escapes really good. He, sick wise, Jalen Green is decent. His release is kind of mid. Okay, his release is mid. 300k for a scrub. 300k for Jalen Green is two K. So two K just has no class, no class whatsoever. I mean, they just do not care no more. I mean, I'm gonna post on Twitter. Two K is on some drugs. Two K is on freaking drugs. But nah, this Jalen Green is so ridiculous. He's a 150k VC. I mean, it's crazy. 300k for a dark matter is actually nuts i'm not gonna lie that is legit that's legit nuts even move off removal he has golden removal he doesn't even have half removal you want me to pay 300k with no brick wall that i'm gonna have to add i mean jalen green just not it he has pro free fade which i do like the fact that he had why i did that but next up on the list we got mr Giannis onto the copo see this Giannis has an 87 speed 87 three pointer I don't know. Will he be able to get sharpshooter? Probably not. Actually, because you give him a shoe, he'll probably have like plus or trying to think plus six ninety three. He's you might be able to give this one sharpshooter. So I'll, you might not need a hundred gold on Giannis if you pull that other Giannis, like this Giannis. You're not gonna need go Giannis because there's no difference between these. It's not like Yao Ming where it's like a difference. The main difference with Giannis. And that Giannis is literally nothing. Animations. Oh, that one has Michael Jordan and that one has Kyrie. Bro, he lost his motion style? That's troll. Wow, they changed the six. No, they changed the six. Okay, no, they did change something. Wait, is that normal shot timing? Bro, oh, no, very quick. Okay, that's yes, very quick. Michael Jordan, Giannis motion style. Giannis size up. Bruh, he got worse six. Doesn't have a leaner, 
Bro, they making the, the 2K. Okay, never mind. Take it back. Animation is what you're losing. You're losing the Pro 2 leaner. You're losing your Pro 2 leaner. Which low key, pro normal leaner is it really better on Giannis than normal? I mean, you're losing your pro two leaner. That's his best score by to score. That's a big difference. Steve Francis size up for Giannis. Wow. He loses Trey Young. He loses Jamal Murray. I'm being real. Bro, that dark matter Giannis mid. I'm being real. I mean, I'm reviewing this. John Morant moving behind the back is actually decent. Like, actually decent, but you're losing his pro too. Like, Dark Matter Yon's still going to be great. But, man, he can't really do post fades on another one. Yeah, he's a way different card. Kawhi Leonard motion style is way better. Kemba Walker escape. And Trey Young, you're losing a lot. Kemba Walker escape is good. But you're losing a lot of, like, that's the difference. They changed a lot of the sigs. Like, they changed a lot of the sigs. But Giannis is still going to be elite, but they got rid of the a lot of the sigs, really. They got rid of a whole lot of sigs in this, and they, they just nerfed. They I mean, Giannis is still really good. Like, he's still good, but he is not going to be the GOAT Giannis. So, yeah, he got nerfed a little bit. 6'5", Zach Levine. Zach Levine has a great release. I know that. Has a great jumper. Has all fires. Have all the shooting badges. 97 speed with ball. Good defensive badges. Zach Levine has Zach Levine on very quick. Pro 2 leaner. Kyrie. Zach Levine... Motion style, Jamal Murray size up, Trey Young, escape move, breakdown move is Zach Levine moving behind the back. I mean, Chris Paul step back, depending on his spin. Pro has a tip. I mean, Zach Levine's gonna be good if you get him. I mean, like if you get Zach Levine for locking, you're not going to be happy because you got Jalen Green anyway. But he's not bad. Like. This card is not bad. You can handle this for days. Challenging. He's still going to do everything, but he's just undersized. I feel like he is better than Jalen Green, but for 400 cap, I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, you want Jalen Green. You don't want Jalen Green for 400 KMT. You just do not want him. Hakeem Olajuwon is going to be really good. 93 speed, 92 speed with ball, 7 foot that can play center slash power forward. This card is going to be amazing. He has, I would have loved a jump shot change at this stage in the game. I feel like we're late in this process. He should have a jump shot, but that's just me. Let's see. He has Michael Jordan Elite, Tracy McGrady. How does he compare to his other card, honestly? In all honesty, how does he actually compare? Let's see. Uh, he has the same dribble six. That's a Pro 2. They got Pro 2 fade away. I'm kind of like, I was cooking with Michael Jordan fade on... Mike on Michael Jordan. I'm a little bit disappointed that got changed because that because I was talking, I was cooking with a Keem and Michael Jordan fade away. So they didn't really change much. Like a Keem Elijah, I'm being real with you. You're not gonna be noticing much of a difference like it, between the Akeem Elijah ones. They look really, really like you're not gonna notice that crazy of a difference. Cause both got ball handling, right? They both had a what was the ball handle? 86, 90. Like, they both are very similar. Very, very, very similar. Very similar. And I forgot to mention, like, literally, like, Giannis Antetokounmpo, too. Like, Giannis Antetokounmpo's size up is way different than Steve Francis' side. That size up is way slower. Way slower. So, that's a drastically worse. Like, Giannis, like Giannis is still going to be amazing, but he's not go. He's not 100 overall, Giannis. Simple as that. And it came with Lydron. Great card still. He's still shooting bad. But I just feel like he leaves a lot. He just he just leaves a lot, really. Like, I just feel like he's as similar as his Galaxy Opal, who you got like three months ago. So it's like how hype Brian Gee for Akeem when he's almost similar to his Opal. He has so many sigs. They didn't really update much of anything. Which is a bit disappointing though for Akeem Elijah. I'm not gonna be honest. That's a little bit on the disappointing end. But we're gonna do our first. Bye bye. Like, before we get the Wimbies, let's look at Booker real quick. Wonder did Booker keep his leaner? Booker, Booker still got Booker leaner. Still got you would have loved. Oh, Booker got his move behind the bat change. See that is, dude. This Booker is gonna be a god. I'm being real. Devin Booker's gonna be so good. He's gonna be so good because he didn't need. Because see, this is what I wanted KD to have. See, this is what they did with Devin Booker. Is what they should have done with Kevin Durant. Who they literally change everything for. I'm telling you two guys. I actually, Kyrie, I honestly do not like this change though. 
Devin Booker dribble style is honestly better for Booker than Kyrie personally. I wish they would have kept that the same. Actually, they might have kept this moving behind the back the same because they both have pros. So that doesn't mean he's getting Jamal Murray. But I would have liked Booker to get Jamal Murray. And I would have liked them to get a different dribble style. I mean, keep this dribble style. Give him like Dev give him like jo give him like a Jamal Murray with his dribble style, and he's gonna be elite. But he has Booker Leaner, which is gonna be amazing. Immaculate go to dunks. He has the same amount of dunks, really. So we have to wait and see. I don't know how I feel about the Kyrie and Booker change. If this one has a different move behind the back, though, but oh, I not I don't like the change from Devin Booker dribble style. Devin Booker dribble style is probably better. I'm, I'm being real, is probably better on Booker. Like it's so good on Booker. But like you know they they they, they so it's like. I'm a little disappointed by that, but also if they get him, if they change his pro to Jamal Murray, then it might be worth it. But ooh, I mean Booker's still gonna Booker's still gonna be good. Don't get it twisted. Like this card is still very good. He has the same a lot of six. I would have loved still. I would have loved 2K to give Kyrie KD a different move behind the back and different dribble style. But you know they just I wanted them to do this upgrade is what I wanted KD to have, but 2K just went too overboard. 2K went all overboard. So we actually got Scottie Pippen, 6'8". Shooting guard, we got Scottie Pippen on very quick. Tracy McGrady size up. I mean, typically I love Tracy McGrady size up. I don't even think it's all that. Tracy McGrady size up, pro, James Harden. I mean, he's so similar. Like, I watched the game Pro Free Fade back. Pro 2K thinks the best fade away in the game is Kobe. Pro Free Fade is actually the best fade away. But Scottie Pippen, he is so similar to the dark matter. Honestly, like... I don't think you're going to notice the difference between his dark matter and his 100 overall, to be really honest. I guess the big difference you'll notice is the standing dunk. So, actually, that will be, that's a huge difference. 19 plus standing dunk is a huge difference. Because, okay, because I even think about Devin Booker, for example. I forgot to mention that. Like, he's going to have a 99 standing dunk because the other version of him only had a 80. So, like, he's going to be able to dunk underneath the paint, which is going to be a little cheesy. So that is a big upgrade from the up from there. I mean, it's standing dunk. If you take standing dunks, I mean, I don't know what Scottie Pippen. I don't know who does, but maybe you do. He's decent, personally speaking. So, yes, I mean, most of the cards are really decent. It's semi decent. But let's look at Wimby's point guard edition. I wonder if we see the Afro, Afro version. 96 three pointer on Wimby. 94 speed, bro. If I match this card at point guard, um, I'm breaking my controller. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This card is a straight. He has every badge in the game. Oh my goodness. This card is so sickening. <laughs> this card is so sickening. I match this at point guard. I just don't know what to say. I wish they would update tendencies, but 2K just don't update tendencies. Victor went beyond very quick. Pro 2 leaner. I think he has all the sigs like his other one. Will change. Did they change Luka Hezzy? They better change Luka Hezzy. Ah, they kept Luka Hezzy. I wish they would have changed Luka Hezzy. Luka Hezzy is such a troll Hezzy, but it's, you know, it's all good. He still has the same six from his previous car, but I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, Wimby's a god. Wimby is a freaking god. He has all the six like his last one. And yeah, Victor Wimbyama is a... Uh, it is a god. I mean, we might not need to look at all the Wimbies. Let's see if they, have, they all have the same stats. Yeah, they're probably going to have the same stats. But Wimby's a god. Wimby is Michael Jordan, Pro 2, T-Mac, Escape, KD. Make sure, make sure there's no different ones. I, it's probably the same. I wish they would actually give... I wish 2K would throw KD leaner. Because if you see it on Twitter, it would be the most overpowered thing. It's just one got Trey Young moving behind the back. This one, Trey Young. No, they, they, they all have the same one. And he's only 210 pounds, so he's going to be able to break the game. So all four of these Wimbies are going to be beasts. So we're going to look at the 100 goal roll. No point in going through them. But all four of those Victor Wimby Yamas are going to be crazy. 100 goal overall Wimbies going to have 99 ever. Honestly, I'm not even seeing that much of a difference between... This Wimby and this Wimby right here. I'm not even seeing that much of a difference. 160 stats, but it's not enough. Okay, 10 plus shrimp is huge. You would have loved the shrimp to get a little upgraded. Because it's still being 88. Still trolling a little bit. Because I guess you can give a shoe. You can give a coach. But, you know, a 9 stamina. I mean, still. 
passing vision, like ball handling. I mean, 86 is not a big deal. Yeah, they're very similar, but the Andre Over maybe got a different shade. Okay, Andre Overall, 99 everything. Perfect everywhere. Got every defensive badge. Really good. This has a win beyond very quick. Just when that John Morant size up. Okay. Kimba escape. Okay, so the, okay, we're seeing it. This is the first time we are seeing. See, this one has a different hezzy. See, 2K knows this stuff. That's how they know this stuff. They literally know this stuff. This they know Luca Hezzy is slower. So this this 100 overall Wimby is gonna be a beast. Gonna be a straight beast. Kobe Bryant post look DeAndre eight in motion style. Ja Morant size up. Kimba Scott Walker escape. He's gonna be so good. He's going to be so good. I mean, a Wimby, go Wimby 99. He has a 17,000 salary cap. 99 everything. I wonder what his jumper is gonna be. Did they give him a broken? I mean, they've been changing jumper all week. I don't think they're just gonna stop all of a sudden, but it'd be weird if they did. Dyson Daniels. What the freak really is that gonna be? He has pro two on this one. Trey Young escape move. Tim Hardaway has pro Chris Paul hesitation. DeAndre Demoto has Steve Francis on this one. Okay, so we're seeing, we're even seeing them gatekeep stuff with the 100 overalls. So the 100 overall Wimby and the Goat Wimby are both gods, and the Dark Matter Wimbies are gods, and the guard and the free Dark Matter is just an average Wimby. But yeah, John Morant size up on the 100 goal. I, I, bro, they couldn't give a John Morant size up on the normal free dark matter, though. You, you don't get John size up. That's so that's so OP. John Wall moving crossover. You get Trey Young on this one compared to Pro. But yeah, these all are gate kept. But Go Wimby is looking like a demigod out there. He's a god on the court, and he's so good. Like I said, I wish 2K would throw Kobe Leaner, but they would just never do that. But. Yeah, an overview real quick. We used such a long video. But such a long video. Every Wimby is a god other than the Opals. The the, Ga the Galaxy Opals. JaVale McGee might be alright. Brandon Ingram, alright. Giannis still really good, even though he's nerf version. Hakeem's still good, but not a little bit underwhelming, kind of, from his upgrades. Zach Levine, still going to be a good card, in my opinion. Still think he'll be good for 6'5 player. And all the Wimbies are gods. Booker's a god. And Scottie Pippen. Even though same, almost the same, he's still going to be a god. Did he get Kawhi Leonard in Mojo style? He got, got uh, updated to Elite. I wish that, 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 2K just hates giving Scottie Pippen Kawhi Mojo style for some reason. But, yeah. Say y'all on the next My Team video. And Keegan Murray has unusable jumper. Give me a key!